Hello my purple banditos and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon X. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated Viola the bug type gym leader and obtained the bug badge. In today's episode there's actually one thing that I want to take care of very quickly and that is that we're going to be adding a new Pokemon to our team. Now this decision was a little tough. I wasn't sure about it but I'm going to go ahead and do it because I know that we need another team member. Now I'm going to run around in this grass and I'll be back with you guys once I've found it. So there we have it guys, that's the Pokemon I've been looking for, it is a Fletchling, and I know it's a little bit strange that we're going to be getting a Fletchling, but I made the decision that, you know what, I've had Pokemon in the past that have the same types, so why not add Fletchling, who is the bird of this region? I definitely do want to start building the team, and I thought, you know what, I really need to make this decision now before we go any further, because the further we go, the tougher it is to get that to add you know more Pokemon to our team. I think... I think Fletchling will be pretty good. Um, it's definitely a very, very strong Pokemon, and I think it'll be a, a good choice for us. Now, let me just throw out some Pokeballs. As you can see, I can't really weaken it, so it's going to be just a matter of hoping that it stays in the Pokeball. And there we have it, guys. Fletchling was caught. So welcome to the Team Fletchling. We're very happy to have you, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to having Fletchling around. Uh, let's go ahead and read some of Fletchling's data. Ooh, this is cool. Fletchling, it is the tiny robin Pokemon. It's a normal flying type. It says these friendly Pokemon send signals to one another with beautiful chirps and tail feathered movements. So let's go ahead and give a nickname to Fletchling. Now this is a little nickname. As you guys know, I like to do. I like to mix things up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and call our little Fletchling. Um, I guess some of you guys will probably know it. And we're going to call it Saltar, which is uh, like to jump in Spanish. Um, and there we have it, guys. We've gone ahead and added Saltar to our team, and now we can continue on. So last time we took on the bug type gym, we were also told that we needed to make it to some lab. Uh, and if I'm correct, the lab is going to be located here somewhere to the left. Uh, is it up here? Uh, no, I think it's going to be somewhere over here. Oh, you, you are, aren't you? You're one of the kids who got a Pokemon from Augustine Sycamore, right? Would you look at that? You got a bug badge. Looks like I might have a new scoop. To be Viola at your young age, you really are something, aren't you? Oh, sorry, I never did introduce myself, did I? I'm Alexa, the gym leader you just faced. Viola is my younger sister. I work as a journalist myself. Here, why don't you take this to celebrate getting your first badge? Oh, sweet! So we obtained the XP share immediately. Wow, perfect. We just added a new Pokemon to our team, and we already obtained the XP share. Uh, it's definitely going to help in our training. I work at the big publishing house up in Lumio City. Feel free to stop by any time if you have the next big scoop to share with me. Wow, thank you so much. What a nice lady. So let me go ahead and give that item. Wow, I can't believe we already got the XP share. Um, let me go ahead and drop that straight onto... Wait, what? Off? Wait, does it do it automatically in this game? Oh, man! All our Pokemon receive XP automatically? Wow, that's really sweet. I guess they really have changed things around here. We made it to Route 4, patch her away, um, and I'm just going to continue skating my way through here and hope that I don't have too many battles to worry about. I, I think we're headed the right way, and who are these people? Hey there, have you ever heard of a Pokemon called Flabib? So you haven't seen one yet? Well, that's something you can look forward to. Flabib is now brace yourself a fairy type Pokemon. The type is a new Pokemon. What are they talking to me about? I'm so confused. Why are they talking over each other and all these types of things? My name's Sina. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. I'm Sitko. Two years ago, Professor Sycamore trusted me with a Pokedex. You could call me a Pokemon Voyage Veteran. If you'd like, I'll show you the way to the lab. Oh, okay. So these are the people who are going to be showing us to the lab. Now, if you guys remember, uh, we were told that we need to make our way to this lab um, because that's where... Uh, Professor Sycamore is waiting for us. No, where are you going? I kind of wanted to talk to the guy with the backpack. Uh, yeah, Finnegan and I, you know, we've been having a good time. And, uh, Saltar is having a pretty good time, too, now that we added him to the team. Um, they gave us TM27. You know what? There's something about this game that they really enjoy giving you items. I don't know what it is, um, but they've been doing a really good job at keeping pace with them. Lumio City is the biggest city in all of Kalos. There's still plenty I haven't seen. Um, I guess we're ready to make our way through the gate then, guys. Um, and make our way towards Lumio City, where there seems... Wow! Look at this! This is beautiful! Lumio City is absolutely... Oh, wow! This is stunning! Wow, look at... I'm just like... I'm in such awe of this game and how beautiful it is. I, I keep looking around and it's just amazing. I'm gonna head and wait in front of the lab for you. Follow my way to the lab. Ooh, alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look around this town a little bit, um, because there seems to be a lot going on. Uh, 
I, I just honestly I can't believe the beauty of this game I keep looking around and I'm just I'm absolutely stunned I'm having a great time playing this and I'm having a great time sharing my experiences with you guys I think we have to head inside of the lab in order to meet the professor which I guess is kind of strange because we haven't met yet this building is the Sycamore Pokemon lab let's go inside please let's go inside I'm actually really excited to meet the professor uh, because isn't it weird that we got our Pokedex we got our, you know, our, our Pokemon, but we never met the professor. You've traveled a long way from Vanneville Town, but you're finally here. The professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him on the third floor, so hop in the elevator. All right, we definitely will. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, um, what I have noticed about Kalos is that it's actually based uh, around Europe, which is kind of cool. It's based around Europe. Uh, it's like Paris and, and London and things like that. Um, kind of how Unibo was based around America with cities like New York um, and, and things like that. And whoa, there he is! So we finally meet! Fantastic, you're here! Come this way, won't you? Alright, let's follow the Pokemon Professor! Whoa, let, where'd he go? I was about to say, this dude's like David Copperfield. He's just disappearing everywhere. Many thanks for coming all the way from Vanneville Town. I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. How is your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different Pokemon? Fantastic. Let me have a quick look at your Pokedex and see. Hmm, so you've seen 22 kinds of Pokemon in Central Kalos then. Oh, the pages are getting filled in. It's starting to look good. Well now, you do have a certain Jean Essequa. I have a good feeling about you. By the way, I can't pronounce French for crap, so don't judge me. At first, I was thinking of choosing only one child from a town when I was deciding who to give a Pokemon to. In Vanneville Town, it was going to be the child of a veteran trainer I know. About then, I learned that the Rhyhorn racer, Grace, and her son were moving here. Here in the Kalos region, you're far away from everything you used to know. That really hit me right here. Then it hit me. I should give you a Pokemon and have you travel around Kalos. Hi, Professor. It's Shauna. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic! Now let's all have a Pokemon battle. Wait, we're gonna have like a four-way Pokemon battle? Wait, 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 hold on, 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 I'm just kidding. Uh, there, oh, there's, there's, okay, let, let me do the math. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four with me. Um, how are we gonna do this battle? Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do it. So here we go, Rodri versus Professor... Sycamore! Uh, this crazy bastard wants to take on three people? Oh, okay. Is it just me? Alright. If it's just me, I can probably handle him. Um, I was gonna say, if it's anyone else, then then I don't know. Um, Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw out a flame charge. We're, we're set then, guys. I really thought for a second this crazy bastard was gonna go all out and just... Hey, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, guys? Just kind of go crazy on us. Um, but I, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine here. Uh, because it seems like his Pokemon um, are a little under level to ours. Now, he seems to be using Kanto starters. Um, so, my only worry right now is Squirtle. If Squirtle comes out, I'm going to be stressing a little bit. Um, but other than that, we should be good. And now, how awesome is it that the XP share um, affects the whole team? I just want to throw that out there. That's kind of cool. Here comes Squirtle. All right, I'm ready. You know what? We took out that sun kissed or whatever it was. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take down a Squirtle. I'm going to go for the Scratch. And I, I hope we do a lot. Oh, fudge, guys. Oh, fudge. I am actually, like, really, really nervous. No joke to be taken on Squirtle. Um, a Squirtle is a handful. So, all right. Oh, man. Okay. Basic strategy. Tail whip the crap of the, out of the Squirtle. Really? Oh, my gosh. The Squirtle's just going to sit here and withdraw the whole time? Nah, this can't be happening. Let's do a flame charge. Let's see how much it does. Maybe it'll do some more damage. It probably... It doesn't do anything. Mother fudge. Did it power us up? Our, our speed rose. Oh, no. Squirtle's gonna start using bubble and just gonna, like, hammer me. Um, I'm just gonna tail whip. Honestly, I'm gonna tail whip Squirtle, like, five times in a row and then maybe drop three scratches and hope that's it. Uh, oh, God. Water gun. That's gonna crush me. Oh, my gosh, guys. Now, this actually makes me super nervous. I knew Squirtle was going to be trouble. I really did know it. I, I called this a while ago. And it's just withdrawing. Mother fudge, guys. Um, maybe we're not supposed to beat this guy. Or, so I like to tell myself when uh, when I'm losing a Pokemon. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, mother fudge. Another water gun. If he hits a crit, I'm done. All right. That, mm, that was super effective. Let me go ahead and heal up. 
I, I don't I don't want to be dropping like flies here, you know, and oh, why did he have to use a Squirtle? Seriously, Squirtle is one of the most annoying Pokemon uh, when you first begin this game because it's so freaking strong. Like, look at that damage it does. Um, well, you know what? It's honestly doing about 10. So I am just going to keep attacking it um, and hope that will eventually do enough damage. Stop using your water gun, you mother fudger. Leave me alone for two seconds. And the, the sad part is that being a professor, he probably has a couple potions up his sleeve. Ah, so that's going to suck. And uh, I probably should have trained Saltar a little more. Tackle. Finally. All right. Do that. Do that a little more and we'll be fine. I swear. Sycamore, if you, for the love of Charizard, start whooping out some freaking uh, potions, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm seriously gonna flip. I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna be like, done. I'm done. I hate Sycamore. I can't deal with this guy anymore. I am sick a more. You know, you know what I'm saying, guys? At, at least, at least he's being decent with the tackles. Um, I'm really scared of a crit right now, though. Um, I'm actually terrified of a crit right now. There we go. Squirtle's down. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. All right. We can definitely handle this now. Um, we gained some XP. Saltar grew to level 7. Um, coming out next is Charmander. Now, if you guys know, Charmander is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, like, no joke. Uh, really one of my favorite Pokemon. I love Charizard. Um, it's just one of those Pokemon that has always, like, hit at home for me. I don't know why. I guess I, I always like Charizard. I don't know. And, and the weird thing is that I didn't even own Pokemon Red version. I was always one of those people who owned uh, Pokemon Blue. So I always chose, and I don't know why, maybe it was just me, but whenever I got a game like Pokemon Blue or Pokemon Yellow or whatever, um, I would always go with the starter that was on it. So like for Pokemon Blue, I would always choose Squirtle. But for some reason, I was always big on Charizard um, or Charmander and Charmeleon. I, I think it was just one of those things as a kid where you... You really like what you can't have. You know, that type of thing. Um, I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but I think that's the truth. All right, enough smoke screens, dude. I'm, I'm about to tackle you down, Sycamore. I'm about to use a scratch on you. And there we have it, guys. With that, finally, uh, we gained a bunch of XP. Thank you. Goodness gracious. That took forever. We defeated Sycamore. Haha, <laughs> you're too much for me. You're really something, aren't you? There we go. We received 1400 for winning, and that's going to go all to potions. I think I figured it, uh, it out. Figured what out? Roger, you're an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one. <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Dang. 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 I really wish I could take them all. Man. Oh, come on, really? Aw, oh, fudge. Aw, oh, no. I kind of really want all of them. Um, well, I, I, I don't know who I'm going to go with here. Um, honestly, I think I'm just going to go on a limb here. And I was talking about Squirtle, so we're going to go with Squirtle. Um, we already have a fire type. I might as well just take a water type to tag along. Um, I'm not even sure if Squirtle will be a permanent team member. Let me know what you guys think. We just received Squirtle, though. Um, and we are going to give Squirtle a nickname. I always give my Pokemon nicknames. Why not? Um, and this nickname just came to mind. Now, in Spanish, since I was talking about blue version, um, blue version is actually Azul. But um, since I was just talking about random stuff, I'm going to call our Pokemon Zula. I like that name. It's kind of like an anagram for Azul with blue. Kind of cool. Uh, and I, we just received our third Pokemon. So, yes, we've decided to nickname it Zula. Since you chose Squirtle, I'll give you this Mega Stone. <gasps> a Blastoise Knight! What does that do? Come now, you two pick your Pokemon. All right, so it seems like the girls are also going to be getting a Pokemon. Um, and that's actually really, really cool. What about these two dudes? Ha, Professor Sycamore! What's this? Everyone is already here! See? Wonderful. Everyone's all here. So now that we're all here, I'd like to say a few words. Be the best trainer you can be. At the same time, remember to have fun traveling with your Pokemon. Also, I want to ask you for help in solving the Kalos region's biggest Pokemon mystery. The secret and potential of Mega Evolution. A new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. That's why I gave you that Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. Mega Evolution? What should we do about the Pokedex? Trevor, my lad, it's what best trainer means to you. Then I want you to go out there and complete that Pokedex. Mega Evolution sounds really interesting. If you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out Camp for your town? A town has a lot of history, you might find a hint there. Now listen, if you visit many different places to complete the Pokedex, you will probably see Pokemon with many ways of living and meet people with many ways of thinking. 
First, accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own, and think about what's really important. This will truly broaden your horizons. Alright guys, so it seems like we've been giving a task about Mega Evolutions, and it's time to make our way out of here, because next time, we're going to continue our adventure from this point. So now, we have three Pokemon in our party right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to use Squirtle yet. Um, I guess we'll decide as we go on. Uh, for now, um, Squirtle Zula is, is on our team. Um, so who knows what could happen? Whoa, who's that? So I'll be able to meet them soon then. Yes. The, oh, oh, children chosen my professor. I wonder what potential they have. And here's one of them now. That's Rodri. Rodri, come here a sec. Ah, oh, you received a Pokedex from the professor then. He's wonderful. Uh, what a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I'm Lissandre. I'm tired of learning as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Our Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. All right, who is this guy? Why are all these random people popping out at us? His hair? I must I must admit, I'm, I'm a little bit jealous of that hair. That dude, he, he knows how he's putting in that gel. See you later, creepy man with a super weird beard. Um, I hope it all goes well for you. Lissandre. Um, I wonder if he'll be an important part in our adventure. Don't really know who he is, but um, what I've come to learn is the weirder the people that we meet, um, the more important they are. So it seems like our group of friends is going now to, um, to the Holocaster, whatever that means. To get the camp for your town, leave the lab, turn left, and go straight. The Cafe Solo Serino is talking about is over there, too. All right, guys, so we've been giving advice of where we need to go now. Um, and I think we... Oh, wow, did you see that tower? Oh, it looks like the Eiffel Tower. Lumio City may be very large, but if you stay on the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm going to go on a little walk. The streets are wine wonder here. Oh, just so you know, camp for your town and Cafe Soleil are over this way. So sweet, guys. It seems like next time we're going to be making our way to the next town. We had a lot of adventures to deal with today, um, and we're going to continue from this point in the next episode. So if you guys have any tips on what's going on, let me know. The adventure is getting crazy, but I'm having a blast with you guys. Make sure to like the video, leave me some comments, let me know how you're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.